Question 10. A Grand Prix race consists of 180 kilometers. After 30 minutes of racing, driver A completed three quarters of the course, while driver B completed five sixths of the course. A. Which driver has completed the greatest distance? Okay, well, uh, driver A has completed three quarters, and driver B is five sixths. So, one way we can tell which is bigger is we can write them over a common denominator. So, what's the smallest thing that six and four both go into? Uh, well, they both fit into 12, so I'm going to write them, um, my three quarters, as. Um, 9 twelfths. So what did I do? I said, well, how many times does 4 go into 12? It goes in 3 times. So I multiplied the 4 times 3 to get 12. So I'm going to multiply the 3 times 3 to get 9. So driver A went 9 twelfths. Driver B went, here we have 5, 6. 6 goes into 12 twice. So I'm going to multiply the 5 times 2 to get 10. So my 5, 6 is 10 twelfths. Now, clearly, uh, driver B went further. But driver B went 10 twelfths of the way around the track. And driver A only went 9 12 so driver B has gone further the greatest distance. So that's one way of doing it. The other way is we could say, look, driver A has gone 3 quarters of the 180 kilometers. So that's 3 quarters times 180. Now times 180 over 1, so I've rewritten the 180 as a fraction. I'm going to cross reduce. I'm going to reduce the 4 and the 180 both by, I'm going to divide them both by 4. And then that gives me 3 over 1 times uh, 180 divided by 4 is 45. So 3 times 45 is 135. So driver A has gone 135 kilometers. Driver B has gone 5 sixths, 5 sixths of the 180. So that means uh, 5 sixths times 180 over 1. The 6 and the 180 are going to cross reduce. So I'm going to divide them both by 6. And that gives me 5 over 1 times 30 over 1. And 5 times 30 is 150 kilometers. Okay. So, once again, we can see that driver B has gone further, has covered the, greatest, the greater distance. Then they're asking us for B, how many kilometers does each driver still have to complete? Once again, there's a couple of ways we can do this. I think the easiest is I've just calculated how far driver A has gone. So driver A has gone 135 kilometers. That means driver A has 180 minus 135, which is 45 kilometers left to go. Driver B has 180 minus 150, which is 30, 30 kilometers left to go. Okay, so driver A has 45 kilometers left, and driver B has only 30 kilometers left. You could do it that way, or you could say, look, uh, driver A has gone three quarters away around the track, um, so that means driver A has one quarter left, so one quarter of 180 is 45 kilometers. Um, you can say that driver B has gone five sixths, so driver B only has one sixth, and one sixth of 180 is 30 kilometers. Okay, you can do it that way as well. So, many different ways of doing the same question, and many, uh, but, but they all give you the, the same right answers. So, have a good day.